Hello, so what am I doing today? I'm sat outside, I'm in my back garden, I'm going to do some macro photography. I originally bought these a few months ago. It's an extension tube for your camera, which gives you a macro effect without having to buy an expensive macro lens. I don't have the money for an expensive macro lens, so this is perfect. This attaches to your camera, click, and your lens attaches to the front. And you've got that. So now I just need to figure out what I'm going to take pictures of in a macro style. And a few, a while back I took a picture, which I put on Instagram, but you might have seen it. If you haven't seen it, here it is. And it's of some broccoli with a bit of water on it, a water drop. And I loved it. I loved the effect it gave. The focus just went straight into that water drop and it looked fantastic. So what I've done now is this morning I went shopping. And I came back with all this great stuff. What I've gone for is fruit and veg, but I've gone for fruit and veg with texture, with something about it, like the pineapple. It's got a great texture. The macro photography is going to pull into that and you're gonna think, wow, what is that, what is that? So that's what I'm gonna do. I need to go and get some water to do some water drops on some of it. But what I've got is broccoli again, a plum, a lime, avocado. This is kale -ette. Apparently it's a, it's a cross between kale and a sprout. Probably better like that, because it's all in a bundle. And a pineapple. So there's the water. What I forgot to say is when I was setting up the table, which has been undercover for probably four or five months, over the winter, um, there was a quite a nice spider in one of the on one of the chairs. It's still there. I've left him to it so he can sort himself out. But I did a nice macro picture of him. Here it is. Hopefully that's not too scary. Right. So I'm gonna first. I might start with the with the broccoli because I've been there before and know what I'm doing. see what that looks like. I put a drop of water on the edge of the broccoli. I've got this because you need it. You need to be quite quick because it's all about getting close up and getting the desired shot fairly quickly. The only thing is it's hard to find where the water drop is. There it is. Got it. I'm not an expert at it by any means. Right, so I've taken some broccoli shots now, that can go. What I'm gonna do next is cut into the avocado. It's not terribly exciting. Um, I've hacked into the stone as well a little bit to give it a, you know, a bit of a layer. That's quite nice. But I think the skin is probably, I think the skin's the nicest. The skin of that is beautiful, look at that. So I'm just gonna get another shot of that. So that's two down. The lime's a little bit boring. There's not a lot to it. I'll just probably stick it in a beer later on. Next up is this is this kaolette stuff. The leaf structure should be really nice to photograph as well. Oh, already that colour's just popping. It's just popping straight out. If I get a longer piece, I'll get that longer piece. We'll try it with a little bit of water on it. Water drop. I think the water drop just adds something. It adds a um, adds an interest, a focal point, and it also throws some light around it. You get some reflections in from everywhere. What I wanted to do with this is I wanted to get try and get the skin, the edge of it, as well as the flesh. Plum is gorgeous. Playing around with macro photography doesn't take long at all. I've gone through six fruit and veg 
in a few minutes. But what I suggest is that, as I said, you need something with texture, you need something where you can play around with it, and also something which you're going to eat in the end. I don't want food waste, I don't advocate food waste at all. Ooh, that avocado stone's gone. Beautiful, different colour. I'm going to try and get that one as well. Get something which has dual use, not only photographing and eating, but also different things. The leaves are a different texture to the, to the skin of the pineapple and the flesh on the inside. So I need to cut into this one now. Right, I think I've got plenty of images. Um, it was just an hour messing about with macro photography and a bunch of fruit and veg. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna go and blitz all this up, maybe make a smoothie or some sort of fruit salad or something. Please cl click the links below and I'll reply to any comments. Anything I haven't included photo-wise in this video, I'll pop on Instagram as well. Uh, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.